Today I want to talk about attribution, which is a marketing term, but this video is going to be valuable for you even if you're not a marketer, even if you're a designer or a freelancer, so watch out. Hey designers, what's up? So today I'm actually working on something called attribution, and attribution means in a, in a marketing language, um, which uh, channel is responsible for most of your conversions. So what marketing efforts that you are doing is actually leading to most conversion, most sales. And specifically what I'm working on, uh, as most of you know, I have uh, an online course called the Webflow Masterclass where I teach people how to use Webflow efficiently and I've started using Facebook ads to promote it. That's been working well. And so w with Facebook, it's pretty easy. You implement something called the Facebook Pixel and then the Facebook uh, allows you to kind of see the attribution it allows you to see how many people converted after watching or clicking the ad so that's pretty simple but what I'm working on right now is I'm sponsoring a couple of design newsletter this month and I want to know how the people who click or see those uh, those newsletter sponsorships we're gonna click on them and are going to convert and so that's I don't have something like uh, you know the Facebook manager for that and so I have to work with analytics and set goals and create funnels within Google Analytics something that honestly I'm not that very good at and so I took today off to speak with some expert and try to see how to set up those conversion goals within Google Analytics so that I can actually see um, if this the sponsoring uh, was worthwhile actually now basically why I think this is important for you to understand this concept of attribution now there are some you know technical terms and technical aspects as I just mentioned working with Google Analytics implementing stuff like the Google Tag Manager or the Facebook Pixel but in general I think it's really important to understand the concept of attribution from t for two reasons first of all understand that you must understand what channels of marketing that you are doing are working well now even if you are a freelancer so I have in my other business I'm a freelance designer and in that sense most of um, most of the leads that I'm getting are through referrals. And one of the first questions that I ask when somebody is calling me, when I get a new lead for my freelance business is, how did you find me? Like who referred you to me? And the reason for that is I wanna know who are the best referrals, who are the people that refer to me back so that I can, in a sense, double down on those channels. So if I know that I went to a, a, a design event and a lot of people went, came to me because they found out or I met them in the design event or something that's related to this design event, I know that design events is a channel that's been working well on me so I should probably double down on that. If there is a specific person and that happens that um, is referring a lot of good clients to me, I want to know, I want to maybe send them a gift so that I can make sure that this channel which been work, has been working well for me will keep generating leads for me. So that's how I kind of think about attribution in the freelance business but also when I work with clients it's very helpful to understand those marketing concepts that they work with to ask them for these type of question and to help them think about this when they're building their website when they're uh, operating new marketing campaigns and stuff like that so when you know how to ask those question like what is the channel that's been responsible for most of your conversion and stuff like that and helping them even technically set up the attribution then you provide much more value as a designer as a consultant as a freelancer to your clients because basically as you know you know most of what clients want is to grow their business now designing the website can be one thing and also you know improving their marketing at, uh, efforts and making their marketing efforts in general more you know more effective is also a huge value and so understanding those terms learning how you know business owners think can help you become a better consultant so hope that was helpful I have to do a lot more of Google Analytics training because this product is so complex and attribution by the way is a huge huge problem it's like a million dollar or billion dollar industry because these things are actually super super complex you know people might see your ad on a mobile phone uh, on Facebook then they might see it on Instagram then they might see it you know search on Google so people might go through a lot of different places before they convert into customers and so understanding really how attribution works is pretty complicated 
but it's something worth learning, which I'm working on right now. Hope you have an awesome day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh,